We are on week 7 of the community quarantine in Metro Manila and going to the grocery now is a luxury, a challenge, and a risk. They say we have to keep eating healthy to keep our immune system strong. What food should we be buying? I wanted to know the breakdown of what we need to be eating more of and thanks to nutrition expert Doc June Di Maano for this interview. Hi! Hi, Doc June! Hi, thank you, hello thank to you, you and to all of your followers. Thank you for taking the time out to uh, have this chat. A lot of parents have questions, especially during this challenging time. So the first question is, we see all these reminders na kumain ng tama, kumain ng healthy. But can you break it down for us, Doc? Ano ba yung mga pagkain kailangan nating kainin to get the nutrition that we need? para ma-boost yung immune system natin. Okay, that's a good question and an important one. No? Lalo na ngayon, ang challenge na nakikita ko is especially the choice of the nutrition and our access and the availability mm-hmm. of the different types of food that we need are kind of limited or challenging to get. Yeah. Kailangan din natin i-maintain yung health natin by getting the right food, getting enough sleep, and getting enough physical activity. Mm-hmm. Now, one of the easiest ways to maintain our health is really through proper nutrition. It right. can be easy and at the same time difficult, especially if we pantry load. No? I would suggest now we get more fresh produce mm-hmm. and we prepare home-cooked meals para sa ating pamilya. Yes. Now, question more is about the different types of food, right? Yes, yes. Kunyari nga, ikaw ang nakatokang pumunta sa grocery. Alin yung mga gulay na importante kong makuha? Because honestly, Doc, diba, ang dami ding tao who want to load up on vitamins. Pero one, mahalang vitamins. Right. And two, ang hirap na maghanap. So I actually have a doctor friend who said, huwag niyo na i-prioritize yung vitamins. Nasa pagkain talaga. That's really, really correct, difficult. Correct. So, so can you help explain to us, Doc, anong food yon at anong mga specific vitamins na makukuha natin doon? Or nutrients? So, yes. okay, so we talked about first, though, yung vitamin A, the fat-soluble vitamin. Since fat-soluble siya, may kita siya sa mga fatty food. Pwede siya sa makuha sa eggs. Pwede din siya makuha sa mga certain types of fish. No? Milk, dairy products, cheese, orange and yellow vegetables and fruit. Pero and vitamin, vitamin A yun din yung for eyesight, di ba? Tama ba ako? Yes, especially okay. yeah, yung carotenoids na yeah. makukuha mo from the vegetables and fruits and even vitamin A will help your vision see better when it's becoming dark. Right. So yun yung halagahan ng vitamin A. Next is vitamin D. It's also a fat-soluble vitamin. Ito naman, makikita rin sa fatty fish, like tuna, mackerel, salmon, even bangus. No? Mm-hmm. And uh, other types of fruits and vegetables like avocados. Makikita rin siya sa dairy products, cheese, egg yolks. So all of those types of different milk. Right. Uh, whether it's uh, plant-based or dairy-based. Nice. Okay. Ang vitamin E naman, since it's also fat-soluble, makikita siya sa mga nuts almonds, cashew, and uh, even peanuts. Because peanuts mm-hmm. are major, inexpensive among all of those different types of nuts. But nuts are also an important source of yes. healthy fats. Okay. So sa mga different types of oil na ginagamit sa pagluto, like yung mga sunflower oil, safflower oil. Vitamin C naman, since it's water-soluble, may kita to sa maraming mga fruits, like mga mm-hmm. citrus fruits, like kalamansi, oranges, dalandan. Oh. Meron pa yung mga pongkan ba yun? Mm-hmm. Yan, yung mga oh. Oh, oranges. Suha, yeah. Yung mga medyo maasin kasi ang vitamin C is ascorbic acid siya. Mm-hmm. Kaya yun yung nagbibigay ng asin dun sa food. Right. Right. It's also important for maintaining the lining of the cells in the body, especially in the, uh, the skin, sa mucous membranes natin, sa mm-hmm. mouth, in even the lining of our uh, stomach and also our gastrointestinal tract. Mm-hmm. So yun yung kahalagahan naman ng vitamin C. We also have, of course, zinc which can be found in mga beans, mga chickpeas, or garbanzos, whole grains, and whole milk. Pati ano man, no? Mongo? Mongo, or, pwede kasi atama. beans din siya. Considered siya na beans or legumes. So, yung ano naman, fiber, tinatawag natin prebiotic fiber, makukuha mo yan sa mga fruits and vegetables in general. Yes. And fiber is important for the nourishment of the good bacteria that is found in our gut. Right. So the good bacteria is important to feed them because they maintain a healthy ecosystem. Doon. Because our gut is one of the first lines of defense against uh, microbes in the uh, environment. Right. Sa pagkumain tayo, 
dire-diretso yun doon. So, kailangan i-guard niya yung mga entry points sa katawan para hindi lahat ng mga hindi magandang microbes, yung tinatawag natin pathogenic microbes, will uh, be prevented from entering the body. Kasi yung protein naman can be found in milk, in dairy, in, in eggs, meats and fish. Tapos yung protein is also important for uh, building the uh, immune system, especially for the production of antibodies which right. we need to fight off infections. Increasingly kasi ngayon, madami nang hindi kumakain ng karne. So kung hindi yes. kumakain ng karne, fish ang option for protein. Eh what if yung hindi talaga masyadong pati, pati chicken and fish hindi? Yung mga, yung mga, yung mga Plant-based, yes. Yung mga nuts, yung mga mm. almonds, peanuts, cashew, may protein yan. Yeah. Tapos meron din yung mga beans, yung mga lentils, legumes, pulses, beans, carbanzos, chickpeas, yeah. green peas, pwede yeah. rin yan. Mungo is a very uh, simple and inexpensive food. Right. Pwede mong pagkuhanan ng high-quality protein as well. Correct. So marami rin ano, options for vegans or for those who are eating a plant-based diet in terms of sources of protein. Importante rin pala, isa sa favorite ko na source of protein is also tofu. Or yeah, tofu. I was gonna ask. Yeah. Ako ay tofu monster Pwede din, din ako. Oo, oo. And thankfully, my kids love love tofu also. Pero maganda do ka, no? Because you mentioned several food na two-in-one na sila, three-in-one, four-in-one. Yeah. Like, ang dami na lang na to check off dun sa list right. of nutrients that we need. You did mention malunggay, do. Malunggay. Oh, yeah. Of course. Saan yan? Malunggay, malunggay, yeah. Uh, yan? Malunggay. At saka huh? ang malunggay. Like, pumunta ka lang sa labas ng bahay mo. Minsan, may malunggay ka talagang Tama. mapupitas. Tama. Yeah. Malunggay. Oh, okay din yun. Source of vitamin A and also vitamin E and fiber. Okay. Medyo pumapasok yung uh, concept of whole food. Right. Kasi yung whole food, nandun na lahat eh. Let's say yung kakain ka ng isang ripe mango, hundreds of nutrients are present in that one mango alone compared mm-hmm. to getting, let's say, a vitamin supplement na right. isang kind of vitamin lang yung itatake mo. Yeah. Kaya maganda pa rin na whole food. Yeah, that's what you mean by whole food. Meaning, puro hindi yes. pa nagagalaw, diretso kakainan mo. Yung iba, ginagawa rin nila, ginujuice nila. So parang talagang kinukuha lang nila yung juice, uh, which is also in a way good. Kaya lang nakakoncentrate din masyado yung, let's say, yung, yung sugar. But let's say, kakainin mo lang is one orange or maybe two. At in one sitting, Mm-mm. ang nangyayari, you're consuming parang five oranges ka agad in one sitting. Kasi genius mo siya. Ang dami rin niyang carbohydrates and sugars sa papasok sa katawan mo. Nature designed fruits and vegetables in a certain way para you only get so much at a certain you know time. It's uh-huh. in one sitting. One meal. Kaya siya may kasamang fiber to regulate the entry or the amount of food or nutrients that are entering your body. So maganda ka in- ah, Yeah, spoke. that makes so much sense. Naisip na ni God lahat. Ginawa niya, oh. kompleto na, solved ka na. Oh, oh. Doc, kanina, and excuse me, you mentioned the of importance course. of water. So we've been seeing a lot of mga memes going around about how much water really should be drinking every day, etc., etc. Explain to us how many. Iba-iba ba pag matanda, pag bata? Oo, oh, medyo iba. So um, ang water kasi, very important for the body. Maybe you already know that our body is made up of water. Maybe 60 to 70% of our body is actually made up of water. So, important na meron tayong enough hydration and water na pumapasok sa ating katawan. It regulates body temperature. It's important mm. to keep ourselves cool. Um, lalo na ngayon na uh, mainit na ulit. No? Uh, summer na. So, kailangan ma-regulate at mapalamig yung ating katawan. Another thing, it lubricates our joints. No? Mm. Importante siya para mas maging smooth ang movement natin. It's also important for fighting off infections and also for making sure na yung mga bodily fluids natin are healthy kasi it's always being flushed and being changed by a constant supply and excretion of water. Kaya lang nga, ang doba, pupunta ka lagi sa CR Mm-mm. to excrete whatever is in excess of water. Pero okay lang yun kasi nasa bahay lang naman tayo. Mm-mm. It's easy to do that. And also important for delivery of nutrients to the different organ systems of the body. Right. So maraming uses ng water sa ating katawan. Kaya importante ito. Now, ang question is magkaiba ba yung requirement natin for water? Let's say an adult versus a child and a man versus a woman. Yes, may pagkakaiba. For an adult male, kailangan mo na mga 4 liters of water. Mga nasa 15 cups or mugs. 
of water so, in one kasi day. Kasi dati yung sinasabi, di ba, 8 to 10 glasses a day. Hindi na pala enough. Pero kasi so, glasses yun eh. I think yung ah, glasses mas... Ah, okay. Cups. It looks much, pero hindi mo naman siya in a way ng in one go eh. Yes. So you will drink it, let's say, right. upon waking up, before sleeping. Yun yung mga different uh, times of the day that you can drink water. For women naman, an adult female, we need about three liters of water a day. So that's okay. about mga 12 cups of water a day. Um, a rough estimate, if yeah. you can drink more, then that would be better. Kung wala ka namang okay. ibang health conditions na yeah. bawal sa'yo to take a lot of water. For kids naman, they would need about six to eight cups of water in a day. So mas maganda yung plain water, no? hindi yeah. yung mga watery uh, drinks na maraming flavor lang or sugar mm-hmm. na mga juices. Sa bata yung mahirap talaga, Doc, kasi ang hirap pa inumin din talaga ng bata ng water. You're right, dun sila sa mga orange flavor, <laughs> mga ganyan yung mga gusto nila eh. Oh, oh. Para madaling tandaan, upon waking up, they can drink a cup. Yeah. Then with every meal, they can also drink a cup. Or right. even more with meals. Kasi ako, I like eating with water. Mm-mm. I don't know, para naging habit ko na yun eh. Tapos, before sleeping, let's say an hour before sleeping. But not too much kasi mahirap din na full yung bladder when you sleep. Diba? Right, right. Wake up to go to the bathroom. Para lang magkaroon ng cue mm-hmm. yung sa activities nila that if I do this, I have to drink water. So right. para ma-insure yung 6 to 8 cups na kukuha nila. Yeah, and I guess you really have to make it a habit and a conscious effort, lalo na dun sa mga hindi mahilig uminom ng water. Okay, well, Actually, that's one of the uh, simple pleasures of life, drinking Too big. water. Yes, totoo. And a luxury Sa totoo lang. Thank you, Lord, for water talaga. Thank you, thank Correct. you so much, Doc, for taking time to answer all the worried parents' questions thank now. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure always having a conversation with you. Yes, likewise! Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and I have to end here. For those of your followers and viewers who would like to know more about nutrition and the proper nutrition for the kids, they can always contact our uh, nutritionists. We have a hotline at 8 995-1555 and they can get free nutrition counseling for their kids or even for themselves kasi lahat nung nagmamanong aming hotline are all nutritionist dietitian they can call that number and they can get free nutrition oh, yes, counseling nice that's super super helpful especially now at a time like this thank you thank you for that and that's thank you right. so much Doc so to everyone watching this thank you I'm sure you learned a lot and stay safe and stay well stay healthy everyone Thank you. Bye-bye.